Hello coin collectors out there. So today's video is going to be about the uh, unsearched coin rolls that you see on eBay and how those are actually one of the biggest scams out there. So I took a screenshot of this ad right here on eBay for this particular item. It's selling for $9.65 and claims to be a ultra rare blue unsearched wheat penny roll old United States coin set Lincoln cent lot. Wow. Sound intriguing, right? Um, in fact, most of these are actually kind of a scam. You get what you pay for, in a sense, in that you get all old coins, but they're not actually unsearched. Don't let it fool you. If you scroll down into the description, which I didn't happen to take a screenshot of, but it continues to read, Tightly crimped, truly unsearched, banked, wrapped rolls of old wheat scents. Now, I have a hard time believing that these are truly unsearched. Um, if they were unsearched, how would you even know what dates were in them? So it says that these pennies are all 1909 to 1958, and I guarantee you there won't be any pennies in there that are prior to 1909. But if they were truly unsearched, I bet there would be. So there are much better ways that you can go about adding to your coin collection for wheat pennies. The most traditional way and the I think the funnest way is just plain old coin roll hunting. So you how to coin roll hunt, it's pretty basic, and most of my subscribers probably already do it, but what you do is you go into a bank, you ask for a box of pennies, you exchange it for 25 bucks, they give you a box of pennies, and then you search search, search through them, and you find some kind of modern treasure. I found on average probably 10 to 15 wheat pennies per box. Now you're paying face value for these pennies, so anything that you find in them is just added bonus is just added bonus and you know you're guaranteed to find some coins in there that are going to be worth more than face value if you're looking through pennies because there are always wheat ones in there so i want to just point out um in this video that ads like this they really don't make any sense unless you're really new to the hobby and you just kind of want to spend your way through and you know get a bunch of wheat cents um, if you're looking for a particular coin i totally understand buying that on ebay if you're missing one specific penny from your collection, you might not find that uh, coin roll hunting. And if you were to attempt to find that one coin, coin coin roll hunting, it might take you a very, very long time. So if you're looking for a specific wheat penny, eBay is a great place to go. But I wouldn't get fooled into an advertisement like this that advertises for ultra rare wheat penny rolls never seen before that are tightly crimped. Now the whole tightly crimped things, Anyone could really do that. All you would need is like a, a, a crimping tool to kind of crimp the roll. Um, I'm sure if you added some heat to it, it would tighten the seal and then you'd be all set. So don't fall for the trap of looking for uh, this and thinking you're going to get anything older than 1909 or you're going to get anything that's older that's in great shape as well. So uh, just thought I'd point that out. Now let's get into this video that I made about the classic way of coin roll hunting, a true search for treasure, and finding wheat pennies in everyday rolls. So check out this uh, remaining part of the video. I think you'll really enjoy it. Take care. All right, everyone. So the journey starts with a trip to the bank. Pick up a box of pennies for 25 bucks. Haul it up the stairs. We've got a lot of stairs to get up to the fourth floor. Open it up. Super fast mode. Uh, we didn't see anything on this side, so... Uh, I fast forward it to the other side and you can see on the other side here pulled out a wheat ender so this is going to be the focus of the video this wheat ender right here now you can pull out wheat enders all the time happens uh, rather frequently not every box but every box will have some wheat pennies in it almost guaranteed so check it out all right coin collectors so here is the roll that's uh, machine wrapped from TD Bank that has the wheat ears reverse on one end and I actually realized something that was pretty cool as well on the other end we have a 2017 Philadelphia mint penny so it's kinda of pretty cool cuz the uh, it's kinda of like the tail of two ends right here this is the most modern end possible 2017 Philadelphia mint and this right here wheat penny is a very very old end so this one right here could be as old as 1958. So let's uh, open it up and see what we see. Try and do it uh, all for you without having to put down the camera. So 
My apologies if the hand's a little uh, unsteady while I open up this roll. Not the easiest thing to do with uh, one hand. All right, we're getting there. Actually, going to put down the camera right here, and then we'll be able to open it up. We'll actually be able to get it open. All right. What will we see? No one really knows. All right, almost. All right, here we go. What wheat penny do you guess? This is your chance to get your guesses in. Any guesses? Uh, 1956 Philadelphia wheat penny. Uh, so nothing too crazy here. The production uh, amount for these for the 1956 Philadelphia mint uh, was 420 million produced. So quite a lot. There was actually more that were produced at the Denver mint in 1956. Uh, there were 1 billion produced at the Denver mint in 1956. Only 422 million. So if you put it that way, uh, not too many of these were produced in 1956 at the Philly Mint relative to the Denver Mint. All right, so there's the coin that was on the end. As I started out with this video, this is a great way that you can find wheat pennies is just by going through coin rolls such as this. You can find some really good stuff. You don't have to buy them online uh, and then kind of hope you get lucky with some uh, fancy ones because those are probably all kind of packed and sorted through already. So this is the 1956 uh, Philadelphia Mint Wheat Penny. All right, hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Check out some of the other videos on my channel. Take care, everyone. Hopefully you have a great day, and best of luck coin collecting. Enjoy.